As reported by Liberty Times on September 22, 2024, Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense has announced a revised schedule for the delivery of 14 M136 volcano mine-laying systems from the United States. Initially, the delivery of seven systems was slated for completion by the end of this year, with the remaining units expected in 2026. However, due to operational delays and other unspecified factors on the U.S. side, all 14 systems are now scheduled for delivery in 2026. Despite the delay, Taiwan's military is maintaining close communication with U.S. officials to monitor and potentially adjust the timeline as needed. According to Taiwan's 2025 public budget, the total project cost for the volcano systems, including procurement and domestic logistical infrastructure, exceeds 4.89 billion new Taiwan dollars, approximately $153.3 million. This budget covers the period from 2022 to 2025. Once the volcano systems are delivered, they will be allocated to the engineer groups of Taiwan's army across three regions, North, Central, and South, to enhance operational readiness and flexibility in the event of a conflict. To maximize the effectiveness of these systems, Taiwan's military has formed specialized mobile obstruction teams, integrating engineer corps personnel with mechanized infantry battalions. These teams will be tasked with the rapid deployment of mines in strategic locations, such as roads and bridges, to obstruct enemy advances. The introduction of the volcano system will significantly enhance the mobility and responsiveness of these units, allowing for swift creation of minefields in high-risk areas during combat situations. The M136 volcano system offers Taiwan a critical anti-tank capability, particularly as a countermeasure to potential amphibious landings by enemy forces. This advanced system can quickly deploy anti-tank and anti-personnel mines over large areas, creating a formidable obstacle for invading armored units. The volcano's ability to lay minefields up to 1,100 meters long and 120 meters wide in a matter of minutes allows for rapid battlefield fortification. Each system is mounted on the highly capable Oshkosh Defense M977A4 HMTT truck, which can carry 960 anti-tank and anti-personnel mines per deployment. Powered by a 500-horsepower diesel engine, the M977A4 has a payload capacity of 9,780 kilograms and can traverse diverse terrain, including fording water up to 1.2 meters deep. This truck's air transportability further enhances the operational flexibility of the volcano systems, enabling rapid deployment across the island. The volcano system's mines, packaged in M87A1 canisters, feature magnetically induced fuses, making them highly sensitive to the movement of enemy armored vehicles. Each canister contains six anti-tank mines and one anti-personnel mine, which deploys trip wires upon ground impact, further complicating enemy movement. Additionally, the mines are equipped with a timed self-destruction feature, mitigating the long-term risk of unexploded ordnance and addressing humanitarian concerns. In response to concerns about Taiwan becoming a mine island due to the use of these systems, a Taiwanese army general clarified that the volcano system is intended for targeted, short-term use rather than wide-area, long-term mine laying. The self-destruction feature, combined with the fact that the mines are surface-deployed rather than buried, reduces the risk of unintended harm to both civilians and friendly forces. The focus is on precise mine deployment along potential enemy landing routes, enhancing Taiwan's defensive posture without posing excessive risks in peacetime. The Army Command has reiterated that the volcano systems are intended for use primarily in wartime scenarios, particularly in beachhead areas, to disrupt and deter enemy armored movements. The system's rapid deployment capabilities, armored protection, and features such as magnetic induction and time self-destruction provide a balance between tactical effectiveness and safety. Moreover, the procurement adheres to both domestic and international regulations further demonstrating Taiwan's commitment to maintaining responsible defense practices. This delivery is part of a broader $146 million agreement between Taiwan and the United States, signed on June 21, 2023, for 14 Volcano Systems and M977A4 HMTT trucks. The deal was part of a larger $180 million arms package approved by the U.S. State Department, aimed at bolstering Taiwan's defensive capabilities in the face of growing regional threats. Although some details of the discrepancies between the proposed package and the final agreement remain unclear, the procurement represents a significant enhancement to Taiwan's military readiness. The M136 volcano system, in use by militaries worldwide, adds a versatile and powerful tool to Taiwan's defense arsenal, further deterring amphibious invasions and reinforcing the island's overall defense strategy. 
Taiwan's investment in this technology, along with the creation of mobile obstruction teams, highlights the nation's commitment to maintaining a robust defense against evolving threats. By 2026, with the full deployment of the volcano systems, Taiwan's engineer groups will be better equipped to create tactical minefields and strategic locations, bolstering the island's defense infrastructure. This enhancement is a critical component of Taiwan's broader strategy to ensure the nation's security and sovereignty in an increasingly complex geopolitical landscape.